Coming up, the UN special envoy to South Sudan says the country's leaders are showing little interest in helping UN their people the survive war. Most Sudan of the displaced are Africa's fleeing to neighboring Uganda, crisis. but there are Nearly also thousands of staying in their homeland. Uganda. 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 people, mostly women and children, well. are arriving in um, Uganda every day. We need a peace agreement. Uh, we need peace. That is the most fundamental element that's missing in South Sudan. We are here at the UN Conference of 2017 discussing South Sudan. I'm Dylan Winwood and I'm representing the United Kingdom on the Security Council. No, we, are, we are going to have to speak to our um, advisor. I believe that the important thing is that we do get peace because we can't send any aid in and guarantee the aid safety without peace. Our eye is our big gas Hello, um, we are Ocha and we want 40,000 troops, uh, peacekeepers. And we do not want a full arms embargo, but we would like, like, for the calibre of weapons to go down, so they can only be used for self-defence. We can freeze all. We can freeze the bank accounts unless we give the critical arms ceasefire. Would you would you help us with that? Our organisation is wanting to make sure that everyone in South Sudan gets a chance to be safe and healthy. trying to bring food and aid to as many people as possible but it is proving to be very difficult because all of the roads are blocked in Sudan. Um, as you know there's a lot of famine in South Sudan and that we are trying our very very best to um, get um, food and so grain um, into the um, country. Lots of people around food and agriculture uh, to see if they are um, We've spoken to the FAO. Yeah, yeah, we have a tweet. Of um, the FAO. You should chat to Oxfam as well. Because of the um, government, we have it slightly harder to um, slightly harder to disperse the food, but we are get, we're trying our very best. <laughs> Today started off very well for us, and then we started to be fed fake news. A lot of, uh, how should I put it, people exchanging, I won't call them insults, but claims about fake news. Yeah, that happens in the real world, world as well. But what's really at stake here? What are, we, what are you actually reporting? We're talking about South Sudan and people's lives in South Sudan. How are you planning to get even these troops in to save um, the UN peacekeepers? Well, we think if we can come to an agreement with South Sudan, then uh, there will be peace and then we can actually get our troops in if there is an agreement that will allow us to do that. What, what, are your, what is your red line and what do you think will happen in this agreement? 
Well, I think our red line is definitely to get peacekeepers and um, aid into South Sudan. We're not going to stop until that happens. Have you spoken to Leo? Um, the US are clearly backing aid, uh, whereas a country such as Egypt are very much against the um, arms embargo. They really they, want they, the embargo, they, they so, want which is against the weak, so they, they have prevented all sorts of people. Well, so, so what is your main progress? What do you want out of this? What do you, how do you want to help in the weapons now? Today we have recently um, found out about a new outbreak of rebels in the uh, in the north of South Sudan. News just in: A UN aid convoy heading to a civilian camp in Bentu, north of South Sudan, has come under attack. Early reports suggest that there has been at least one person killed and six injured. And so the complications of this have now affected the UN, as the Secretary General has now blamed the Prime Minister of South Sudan, not the rebels who he says are not rebels, and that they are just reacting to what's happened. And so this could complicate now the relations between the UN and South Sudan. I think now we're kind of going a bit off topic we're more focusing on the Secretary General and we're twisting his words when we should be focused on the situation which is at hand, which is the South Sudanese. Your job is to actually decide what you are going to propose the UN should do immediately because of the change in this crisis. <laughs> And now all those against. Uh, Russia has vetoed this, so this resolution doesn't pass. Um, which unfortunately we didn't, but I thought um, every country did really well to work together. I think today as a whole was a really great day and it was just really fun and it was really nice to participate. We great. tried out new things that we hadn't done and we experimented with negotiation techniques etc. 